What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. If your Maserati has this navigation screen, you want a tempered glass screen protector, check out this. So I just picked this up. It's a tempered glass protective film that goes over here. So you can see it has a nice matte finish. I actually don't mind that. Uh, but some people in the reviews have said that it also sharpens it up a little bit. I don't know about that, but I thought why not protect it, you know, just in case you get a rogue finger or careless person tapping on it or something like that. And just because you use it a lot, you're tapping on the screen a lot and preventing any excess of wear. So here in this little package here, which I picked up, uh, I took a look, we get a bunch of stuff. So we get these little things, which are, they look like teardrops, but they're basically like stickers to pick up any dust that remains. There's also a microfiber cloth in there for cleaning it up. We have some instructions here. It's going to leave a little bit of a gap all the way around. Here it says one millimeter gap all the way around. Now I've heard some people say that it's actually more than that, but I thought we would clean up the screen here and install it and see what we think. First, the alcohol prep. I'd probably feel better about using an electronic cleaner wipe, but this is what it comes with, so I'm just doing it as it recommends. Then clean up here with this microfiber cloth. Now, I don't see any obvious pieces of dust anywhere on there, but you could use these to use them like stickers to pick them up. And here's the glass protector, and I will say that it's pretty substantial. It's not overly thick, you know, less than a millimeter thick, but... It seems like glass. Now, it only has one sticker and it says back. So uh, you're gonna wanna remove that before putting it on. But that means that the this side is gonna go out. Okay, so I'm just kind of dry thinning it here. It has curved edges instead of kind of the sharper edge that the screen naturally has there. But I'm just kind of putting it where I think it should go. It's a little hard. I'm kind of leaning over and trying to center it. But I would say that the fit is pretty good. Uh, a millimeter gap all the way around seems pretty pretty right. Uh, maybe there's more of a gap top to bottom than there is left to right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to install the little suction cup on the corner here, as it suggests. And then I'm going to peel off this side and we will go ahead and put this sucker on. Ooh, kind of nerve wracking. And I'm going to try to kind of push it from right to left. And you can kind of see that it's adhering. It kind of looks a little bit like a cascading waterfall as it adheres to the glass. A little air bubble there that I'm kind of pressing out. But other than that, I think that's kind of about it. Seems to connect it pretty well. And now I can kind of peel that off. And that is on there. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any plastic on this side. But it's quite a bit more reflective now. Now the only thing that we have to see here is if the touch screen actually works and see what it looks like. So fire the sucker up. We'll get the Uconnect screen to come on here. And will it work? Yeah, look at that. Looking good. All right, so it appears that the touch screen continues to work. I will say it just has a bit of shininess to it. It's kind of funny because normally, especially when you're out in the sunlight, I would prefer that matte finish, but it does give it a little bit of a sharper look and kind of just brightens it up a little bit. Uh, it's kind of a very subtle thing and it's more of a trick than anything, but because it's getting rid of that matte, matte finish, it just looks a little sharper. So, and I would say really for me, the big reason to put it on there is just to prevent any excess wear on the screen, you know, as you use it over the years and continue to touch it. So, hey, if you want to pick this up, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.